Austin O'Neill, thank you for becoming my fourth patron. You are what keeps the dream alive. You know, it's weird. Every time that I decide to walk away from Ready or Not, just, just, just for a few days, something decides to pop up, especially while I'm not even looking. And it's like, well, I guess I better make a video on this. So those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, about a day ago, a streamer on Twitch that goes by the name Clean, I think he plays a lot of Escape from Tarkov, said something very interesting. Let's take a listen. Also, guys, I gotta say, uh, Ready or Not, guys. How many of you guys have heard of Ready or Not, for starters? How many of you guys don't know what Ready or Not is? There is an exclusive trailer um, that Leviathan uh, has that we were showing to uh, gun manufacturers while we are at Chacho Show. Because Black Sight and Leviathan's helping Ready or Not uh, get a lot of their licensing for their game. Uh, so that, that way they can have like all of the coolest guns in the game without running into any issues. Um, and I'm telling you guys right now, that game is going to have equal, if not better, gunplay to Tarkov. The animations are rendered at 240 FPS. 240 FPS rendered animations. I, I can't show it to you guys. I can't I'm not gonna tell anything about it. All I can all I'll tell you is that I saw a gameplay trailer that was private that only Leviathan owns. Um well doesn't own but had to show to gun manufacturers to help be like, hey, you wanna put your shit in this game? Guys, I, I'm not fucking lying to you. That game is gonna have equal, if not better, gunplay than this fucking game. Like in oh my god, it's gonna have like PvP and oh my god, dude. It's gonna be fucking killer, dude. Ready or not is gonna fucking be killer. Like I'm I'm beyond hyped for that fucking game. Especially after seeing that trailer. You guys, hopefully, the pub, hopefully the public will be able to see something soon. Can't say how soon, but soon, TM. You know how that goes. Oh, trust me, I do, and a lot of people watching do too. So clearly, there's a lot of things to unpack here, and we're gonna start from the top. So the first thing that he mentions is an exclusive trailer. Now, that can mean a lot of things. Don't jump the gun here. But when I hear exclusive, I imagine they got some sort of showcase that will only be shown to Leviathan and all the other gun manufacturers. I highly doubt that they got the official trailer that's going to be shown to the public, but then again, I wasn't there, so, uh, who knows? Clean explains the reason that they're doing this is because they they want to get more licensing for ready or not so that void interactive can get all the goodies which would be great for all the people that are gun nuts now what is leviathan well according to the website it says they are people who specialize in firearms weapons gear and wardrobes they seem to be the type of people who specialize for people that are in filmmaking tv shows video games and social media so they seem like the right fit for you know ready or not he later on says that the animations are rendered in at 240 fps holy shit that's uh that's silky smooth it really makes me wonder how long ago they received this showcase because if it was recent Hmm. Maybe. And I'm just going out on a limb here, so this is a complete guess. What if Void Interactive already had those weapons in the game, and they were just showing the manufacturers how they would look and work, basically convincing them to, you know, give them the license? I honestly think that this is the most logical reasoning behind it, but honestly, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comment section below. Let's move on. You know, funnily enough, uh, Easy Street had said that, you know, we haven't actually showed anything in the month of January, and lo and behold, about a day later, Ryro posts a picture of this. This is an in-game replay viewer picture. So Ryan's, what he had to do is he flew back to a recorded part of this and took a picture, and I thought that I would just go over it. So the picture is of three SWAT officers that are shooting, obviously. You can see the bullets flying out. This guy doesn't look like he has a primary. There's a new weapon here. I believe this is the M45. I honestly thought that this was the 1911, but I believe somebody pointed it out as an M45. Um, we got the shield. He's holding a shield with his gun that's actually right here, his main weapon that's right here. I can't say for sure what that gun is, but some have said that it's either an MP5 or some sort of G3 variant viewed from the bottom. So I guess the gun can get attached to the front of you, but when you decide to actually set down the shield you can pull out the gun and go with you know the main weapon it looks like the two guys in front have opti wands those of you that don't remember what opti wands is they're basically it's like a stick with a screen on it and you shove it underneath the door and it should see what's actually on the other side like if there's good guys bad guys but it's really great for that looks like we also have a bunch of stingers i've noticed that these other two guys are wearing some sort of goggles it looks like a new feature because this guy's not wearing goggles this guy looks like he has something attached to the front of his helmet uh i'm not sure what that is maybe an extra armor piece i don't know and this guy actually looks like he has his primary but i can't tell what gun that is this doesn't look like an opti one like the opti one looks a little tinier like has like a tinier 
barrel, then this thing kind of looks bigger and longer. Viewers have said that it might be a breaching shotgun, maybe, possibly. I wonder if because this guy got shot right here, he's actually limping. I can't tell if he's like trying to take a step or if he's kind of like limping a little bit. I don't know, but that's what it kind of looks like. So obviously these guys have a bunch of stuff that we've already seen before. One thing that's interesting is this guy's got a lot of stingers. You know, I have to wonder if you take something specific, like say you only take three or maybe one stinger, does it actually change up the way that the character model looks? Like he only has one stinger if he only takes one stinger like he if he has three stingers it shows him having three stingers man that attention to detail is crazy it looks like all of them are wearing balaclavas at least i don't see any skin aside from uh this guy's eyes right here the way that these guys are standing looks amazing like i like the way that that looks so to me it looks like they are storming this room because there's a little ball that's on the floor and i'm guessing that's where they tossed a stinger at least that's what i'm guessing and then they started to push in it looks like this guy got shot in the groin if you zoom in a little there's a bunch of blood stains that we have right here coming out the back right here i'm guessing this is either on the wall or it's i can't tell if it's on the wall or if it's flowing out you know i have to wonder is this the single player may or is it co-op or is it multiplayer i don't know but one thing's for sure is that these guys are all swat which is interesting there's kind of a debate that's going on as to what this area actually is and i can't really say for sure as to what this is Originally, I had thought that this was probably like a bank, but what kind of bank would have this sitting here? Well, I don't know. May I could see a bank having that there. A lot of people have pointed out that this is the apartments level, which those of you that don't know what the apartments level is, it's this one. And I think most people think of that because of the chairs that are right here and the carpet, the red carpet. The reason why I call this apartment is because when you download it, it's literally called apartment. People keep calling it hotel, but I keep telling them that this is the hotel. And the only reason I call it a hotel is because of the hotel thing that's up here and then this is the apartment so i think these are two different areas but anyways i really don't know what this area could be it might be the apartment area mm -hmm. while i was looking over this a black and white cut version of this was actually added to their instagram the caption says checking in captured via our replay editor i believe this caption just gave us a clue checking in as in checking into a hotel or an apartment can't be that blatantly obvious right that probably is i don't know anyways pretty cool can't wait to get into it there was somebody who was looking back at past comments in the discord dating back to early 2017 and that person had actually found a picture of a gameplay demo that was originally on void interactive's youtube channel but had long Long since been deleted or privated just thought that i would add that in as a side thing all right let's move on to the last thing here over on the reddit somebody had took the time to comb through void interactive's website and found some interesting things now there's a lot here and a majority of it is pictures and gifs i'll put a link in the description if you want to look at it all but i'm only going to be going over the things that i thought were interesting so let's take a gander the first thing that we're going to be looking at is something that we've already seen before but what's interesting about this is that there's an actual name attached to this we got dj now originally i thought that he was going to be somebody else i thought he was going to be johnny axe from ramon but i mean again that was just a theory but now we actually have a name dj curious to know what dj's up to all right moving on the next picture we have is an in progress picture and i can't really tell what kind of picture this actually is because this doesn't look like anything that i would see maybe a bank like i can't think of any place that would use this type of architecture this is definitely a picture that is dated so take this one with a grain of salt because i don't know if this area looks the same or not but i'm guessing that this is going to give us a gist of whatever this place is which i think it's a bank but if you guys have another thing let me know down in the comments below maybe it's just a loading screen i don't know all right let's move on the next thing that we're going to be talking about is a brand new picture that actually looks like it was made recently i can't honestly say what this would actually be used for maybe it's just like a set piece that's supposed to be on the website itself or maybe it's supposed to be for in-game purposes i'm not entirely sure but uh maybe you guys could tell me what ammo types these are i mean if i had to take a guess those are two pistol mags and then a bunch of shotgun shells a revolver I'm not sure what that is a clip a revolver clip i don't know what the hell that is and then that ball right there i think is a beanbag pellet i could be wrong let me know down in the comments because i'm not a gun expert i'm an idiot all right moving on the next picture is of a bunch of tools the first one that we got down in front is a light stick the light stick is great for when you clear out a room and you're backing out of the room you drop the light stick right in front of the door to signify that you already cleared the room or you can use them to light the way if there's a dark room or the light's not working the one that's behind it is a wedge basically what you do is you get that you put it underneath the door and the wedge hops up and clutches the door so that you can't move it in case you want to keep enemies inside a specific area or you know that a room like circles around so you wedge that one so they can't get
can't get out. The one to the left of that is a multi-tool. The multi-tool is great for disarming bombs, unlocking doors quietly, maybe doing other things. Hmm. And the last one is the battering ram, which is commonly used for breaking down doors, but you also have the option to melee a criminal. I'd imagine that's gonna be fun. All right, let's move on. The next pick is another one that we've already seen before, but this one was also named Mudazir Head Explosion. Huh, I'm not sure if I said that right, but uh, I thought that Mudazir, or Mudasir, or however the hell you say that, was an interesting name. So I thought that I would plug it into ye old internet to see what came up. And interestingly enough, a meme called Friendship Ended with Mudasir had showed up. It was about a friendship that ended on Facebook with a Pakistani government worker named Asif announcing that Mudasir was no longer his friend. And now he's best friends with someone else. This basically started a meme where it's like, Friendship Ended with X, now Y is my best friend. Is it a coincidence that this picture is named? Mudasir? I don't know, but would certainly fit with their gallows humor narrative and what they really think about this meme. <laughs> Moving on, the next one we have is a picture of some sort of equipment that wasn't covered on the site. I saw this and thought, is this for the motion capture? I noticed that there was a brand sitting on the bag, so I decided to look it up, and sure enough, this came up. It seems like the people over at OptiTract specialize in movement science, virtual reality, robotics. This is some high tier stuff. Interesting. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is of a bunch of criminals that are facing in a separate direction. This isn't the first time that I've seen these. These were actually in the trailer for a very brief amount of time, but they're all tied up and um, Easy Street had actually told me that these are really outdated, so they probably don't even look like this anymore. But, I, you know, I just thought that it was interesting. And the last one that I'm going to be showing you guys is a picture of a guy named Leo. Now, I don't know if this guy is going to be in the game or not. I don't even think I saw him on the website like at all but the person that might voids website uncovered it so maybe now i can see that this person is not right in the head so maybe he's someone who is a special kind of crazy he might be the type of person that sets up traps i don't know i want theories damn it somebody write theories in the comments i need to know what you guys think but anyways after going through all of them i had some relief that there was nothing on the website that suggests microtransactions it also brought a tear to my eye when easy street confirmed that there were no plans for any microtransactions Actions. And with that, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the- Oh, mother-